Dear learners, today, the focus of my presentation is, characteristics of scientific method, replicability, precision, falsifiability and parsimony, watch the entire video, the video is followed by MCQs from the topic. Let us try to understand, various characteristics of scientific method. The application of the scientific method in the education sector is crucial for improving teaching practices, understanding learning processes, and developing evidence-based educational policies. Let's explore how the characteristics of the scientific method, namely replicability, precision, falsifiability, and parsimony, play a role in the field of education with examples. Let me first throw light on replicability. Replicability in education research ensures that research findings are not isolated incidents but can be tested and confirmed in different educational settings or with diverse groups of students. It strengthens the reliability of educational research outcomes. Example, a study examines the impact of a particular teaching strategy on enhancing student engagement in an urban high school. To ensure replicability, the researchers meticulously document the instructional materials, classroom activities, and assessment methods used. Another group of researchers in a rural school can then replicate the study using the same teaching strategy, allowing for the verification of the findings in a different educational context. If the results are consistent across settings, it provides greater confidence in the effectiveness of the teaching strategy. Second characteristics is precision. Precision in education research is essential for obtaining accurate and consistent data and observations. It helps researchers discern subtle nuances in student behavior, performance, and learning outcomes. Example, a researcher is investigating the impact of class size on student achievement. To ensure precision, the researcher collects data on student test scores with a focus on rigorous test administration and scoring procedures. Precise measurements enable the researcher to detect small but statistically significant differences in student achievement related to class size, which can inform educational policymakers and practitioners about the potential benefits of smaller class sizes. Third characteristics is falsifiability. Falsifiability in education research ensures that research hypotheses and theories are testable and open to scrutiny. It encourages researchers to design studies that can potentially challenge existing beliefs and theories in education. Example, a hypothesis suggests that the use of tablets in the classroom significantly improves student learning outcomes. To make this hypothesis falsifiable, the researcher collects data on student achievement in both tablet and non-tablet classrooms. If the results indicate that there is no significant difference in student performance between the two groups, the hypothesis is open to falsification, prompting a re-evaluation of the idea that tablets are a universal solution for improving learning outcomes. Fourth characteristics is parsimony, Occam's razor. Parsimony, when applied to education research, suggests that researchers should prefer simpler explanations and theories when multiple explanations are plausible. This principle helps avoid overcomplicated models and solutions in the field of education. Example, when examining the factors influencing student motivation, a researcher identifies various variables, including teacher quality, curriculum, classroom environment, and peer relationships. Applying parsimony, the researcher might prioritize the simpler explanation that student motivation is most strongly influenced by teacher quality and classroom environment, while acknowledging the potential role of other factors. This approach helps streamline research and avoids unnecessarily complex models of student motivation. Let us now solve some important MCQ type questions. Question 1 is, what does replicability mean in educational research? The ability to conduct research in any field B. The ability to reproduce research findings in different educational settings C. The precision of measurements in research D. The simplicity of research design's correct answer is, B. The ability to reproduce research findings in different educational settings question 2 is, in education research, precision refers to, A. The use of complex and intricate methodologies B. The ability to measure variables with exactitude C. The potential to create more complicated theories D. The number of participants in a study correct answer answer is, B. The ability to measure variables with exactitude. Question 3 is, falsifiability in educational research ensures that, a. Research findings are always proven correct b. Hypotheses and theories can be tested and potentially refuted c. 
The research is conducted in multiple countries D. Researchers avoid simplifying their explanations correct answer is B. Hypotheses and theories can be tested and potentially refuted question 4 is Occam's razor or the principle of parsimony suggests that in educational research A. Researchers should aim for complexity and intricacy in their theories B. Simpler explanations and theories are generally preferred C. The focus should be on replicability rather than simplicity D. Research should prioritize complex research designs. Correct answer is B. Simpler explanations and theories are generally preferred. Question 5 is, which characteristic of the scientific method encourages researchers to make their educational theories and explanations as straightforward as possible? A. Replicability B. Precision C. Falsifiability D. Parsimony correct answer is D. Parsimony question 6 says, which of the following statements exemplifies precision in educational research? A. We conducted a study with a large sample of students. B. We used standardized assessment tools with detailed scoring criteria. C. Our research findings support a complex theory of learning. D. Our study was conducted in multiple countries. Correct answer. B. We used standardized assessment tools with detailed scoring criteria. Question 7 is, falsifiability ensures that in education research, A. All research findings are proven true B. Hypotheses are never tested C. Research can challenge and refine existing beliefs and theories D. Research designs are highly complex correct answer is C. Research can challenge and refine existing beliefs and theories question 9 is what is the main purpose of precision in educational research? A. To increase the complexity of research designs B. To simplify research findings C. To obtain accurate and consistent measurements and observations D. To ensure that research findings cannot be replicated correct answer. C. To obtain accurate and consistent measurements and observations. Thank you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Education and Teacher Education, at Shoking Bilal.